my name is Charmaine and I'm the dietitian that helps people reverse type 2 diabetes with plant-based eating and today we are going to talk about fruits and I love talking about this topic because I love fruits <laughs> so you probably already guessed my answer to the question but let's explain in detail why people living with diabetes can have fruits so First, I would like to start off by this scientific fact. So in any big scale study, it all shows that the more vegetables and fruits that you eat, the lower your risk of getting type 2 diabetes. So I think that is pretty powerful. And also, it not only decreases your risk of type 2 diabetes, it also decreases your risk of cancer, obesity, of other mortality, or other morbidities of chronic disease as well. So that's pretty exciting. But I would like to clarify that fruits and vegetables vegetables is good. I know it's kind of like an old song to sing but fruits and vegetables at the end of the day it's always always healthy for you. So why is it that in the diabetes world we are scared of fruits so much and the biggest reason is because of the sugar. Because with type 2 diabetes we're scared that the sugar from the fruits will spike up our blood sugar when we eat it. But I would like us to think about okay what made that happen in the first place because fruits and vegetables are supposed to be good for you right then why do people want to avoid it and the reason why is insulin resistance that's what causes fruits to spike up blood sugar in the first place it's not the fruits itself it's insulin resistance insulin resistance is caused by a buildup of fat and i have another video talking about insulin resistance i'm not going to go into details but in short insulin resistance is caused by a buildup of fat in your cells that causes insulin to be ineffective in bringing the blood sugar from the blood into the cells so that's something that you want to understand is that at the end of the day it's about insulin resistance and not about the fruits and once you solve the root cause of the problem of insulin resistance then even if you eat fruits you'll be able to have a normal blood sugar because you've solved the root of the problem so insulin resistance is what causes you to have high blood sugar even after eating fruits so the enemy is not fruits it is insulin resistance so the solution here is to reverse insulin resistance and in the reversing diabetes method actually fruits play a really big role in that and often when I work with my clients I always recommend them to snack on fruits even fruits can help them prevent the dawn phenomenon and help them be able to have normal blood sugar even in the morning and if you guys have watched my interview with Betty who is one of my previous clients she actually ate fruits every night and which is really exciting in the beginning when she first started any carbohydrate will spike up her blood sugar but I think when we were a month and a half in she would eat watermelon papaya she would eat a lot of fruits every night and her post meal blood sugar which is her blood sugar after two hours it always ranges around 117 107 101 which is beautiful because your post meal blood sugar is supposed to be under 140 her blood sugar was 117 101 107 and that's a beautiful post meal blood sugar even after she eats fruits because she was able to reverse her insulin resistance so that increases her body's carbohydrate tolerance so that she can eat fruits so for those of you who love fruits this is good news now it brings us to the question what fruits can you eat so normally for anyone who has already reversed their insulin resistance or reversed their diabetes any fruits is usually fine it doesn't really matter any kind of fruits is usually beneficial however if you're just starting to reverse your insulin resistance or if you're still kind of insulin resistant in the beginning then I would recommend having lower glycemic fruits so lower glycemic fruits will be able to balance your blood sugar a little bit more because with higher glycemic fruits like mango watermelon those usually will spike up your blood sugar because it breaks down in your body faster not that it's not healthy it's very healthy but it just breaks down in your body faster however with lower glycemic foods it breaks down in your body a little bit slower so it won't spike your blood sugar as much but everybody is different so you kind of have to pay attention to your own pattern and how your body processes different things examples of lower glycemic fruits can be apples apricots peaches oranges pears berries so those are examples of lower glycemic fruits hope this helps and if you want to work with me to reverse your insulin resistance and join my reversing diabetes program then make sure you book a call with my team the link is in the description 
description below and we'll see if we're a great fit, but I'm really excited to help you on this journey to reverse diabetes. And if you haven't liked this video already, please like, that will help me so, so, so much. So please like this video. And also if you think about someone that you want to share this information with, please share this video with them. And let me know what other topics you'd like me to talk about and I will see you guys next time. Have a good one.